Good morning, Cabana Bay. Uh, I say morning, it's like 10.30, 10.45, something like that. Now you feel like you're in Newfoundland? That looks amazing. I can't wait to try that pool. <laughs> like, yeah. and there's like a, a little old grill there, atomic grill it's called. Yeah, it looks incredibly fun, doesn't it? Oh, I can't wait. Got our little map, you know which way we're going? Oh, I know, I don't, didn't, I took a picture of it, but. Oh, you know which, which way, way to go? Know which way. Wow. Because I remember, you kept telling me last night. Yeah, but you remember things that I don't. I mean, obviously. Obviously. All right, let's be clear on let's, that. Let's be clear. Who does the planning for all these vacations? <laughs> Correct. Man, that looks so cool. Uh, that's the reason we keep going to Florida. It's oh. too amazing. Ah, well, we have these cool signs that can also help guide you. Like this. Like this. So, on the other side of the sign, it said this way to theme parks ah. and more resort hotels. There you go. So basically Go that's what we're side. doing, right? Yeah. So you can explain, we're, we're gonna head over to... We're gonna head over to Sapphire Falls and we're gonna get the water taxi over to City Walk. Uh, so we don't have to take the longer walk. You can still walk and access the theme parks directly that way. But this way, it's uh, it's super easy and you can also get the bus. Oh yeah, they have Grand Transport too, right? But we're just gonna walk across and... Woo! So yeah, I mean, even just coming out this way, you can see already. So you got like, you know, Aventura, right? That's Aventura right there. Yeah, it's the one that looks like a fidget spinner. <laughs> looks like a fidget spinner, cool, yeah, okay. And it's one with the uh, rooftop bar, right? Yeah. So yeah, we'll, we'll bring you along on the walk so you can really see yeah. what's happening. These are, you know, some, uh, I will call quality of life videos. Yes. Watch this, do yourself a favor. Figure out where to walk. You can take the ramp or the stairs. Uh huh. You can. But the ramp is like further north. But if you get a stroller or a wheelchair, you know, those are your choices. So it's just right here, right? You know, all the way up along the side. Yep. It feels like Jurassic Park or something. <laughs> With the, like, the wires here. And yeah, it does, right? The plant. And yeah, these signs here, like along the walkways, and that's the other things you'll see here that Universal does really good. They're all kind of marked the same. So, you know. You can see here, low Sapphire Falls. Yep, I was going to go up this way. Yeah, yeah. So like Heather said, we could have got the ground transport if we wanted. We could have walked out and got a bus. The uh, they run every ten minutes, I think you said. Or we could just walk across and get the boat. We really love the boat, so that's what we're doing. Again, here we are out on the road. Yeah, so that's the uh, the overpass we just kind of walked over. Yeah. Sort to give yourself a little bit of a uh, orientation. A little noisy right here you're off the beaten path but if you kept on going on that path you would walk directly to the parks um, it's about 10 minutes to walk from Cabana Bay to the parks so you just continue along that path until you hit this sign and then you go left here lefty LaRue so this is our first time it is one of these little rentals they're everywhere not just at Disney apparently Busy day store. Did you want to look? Yeah. Oh, Christmas is out. That one's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. It's still traditional, but new, contemporary. Oh, look. This color. That is super cool. All right, well, I'm just forgetting that. Woohoo! Ryan, first to strike. First purchase. Penny? Oh, yeah, a lot of the, oh, it's Old school Universal Studios. <laughs> That's perfect. Cool, it's like a purchase. Yeah, so there we go. I got my fanny pack <laughs> and my final lessons. That took about two seconds. Yeah. yeah, man, they've done better with these Universal stores. I have to say, their merch game is really bad out there. Yeah. And the but stores are nice and tidy time. and, you know, yeah. Like, winner, winner. Really, truly, oh wow, I'm a rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those. Yeah. 
Really cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, hey, somebody have fun. Yeah. Cool. All the fun stuff. Yeah, we got the old, uh, more of the retro merch. I love this. I love it. That's quite something, isn't it? Bad. God. I'm getting one of these. <laughs> sure is bloody cool too, man. Yeah, that is cool. We get the poster like that at oh. home that we get a um, frame. All right. Yeah. Are you so. grabbing that now or are you coming back for it later? Like, do you want to see if they've fit. got that? Uh, oh, they do have it. There they it is. The deal, yeah. yeah, the wand is thing yeah. there. Yeah. It's uh, the free wand. Non interactive. Some exclusions apply. $300 minimum. But again, you're going to save yourself the price of the wand. I'm going to save myself the price of the wand, and we have our annual pass discount. That's right. Awesome. We didn't even look at the area by ourselves. That's how. No, we're it's at. Just like, oh, retro. Let's do it. Ah. She even gave me a new sleeve for my. That's nice. You see, they got the bigger, fancier ones now. What? They've like redesigned the. Premium. These are the new lanyard. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. But I don't like that there's something on the side of it because I always need both sides. Yeah, there must be like blank on one side, I'm guessing, but yeah. probably not two. Yeah. They do have some cool stuff though. It's like these pins here alone are like, amazing. Oh my god, a Back to the Future one. And it has it has all the old movies. It's like that poster. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be. You're happening. gonna have to get that one. Yep. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. We're Man, not going to do it right now. No. <laughs> we need to go and like eat something. Yeah, but, so you know, the shopping and the food and the relaxation and the not needing to get anywhere is a very important part of, uh, of this trip. Yeah. It's cool to see, man. Oh, yeah? my God. Look at the giant pink meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline would die. Mm -hmm. This is like end of October, it's 30 degrees, and it is glorious, and we're here. Of course, we gotta pick which park we're gonna go into. It's really not much of a choice. Islands. Islands! That's where we're starting for sure. We love both sides, obviously, equally and fun, but Islands kind of takes the cake a little bit, so we're gonna start there. And can't wait to see, you know, what's new. More new merch that we haven't got yet, you know? It's really awesome. Just can't believe how excited I am just to be back around roller coasters. Not even on one yet, and I'm happy. We're gonna go over. It's kind of just over here. You can see the little sign here says that the will call kiosks are over here. And they are, indeed. Ta da! But if you come on back this way, you'll see some bathrooms and guest services, just kind of like right here next to it. And as always, adventure friends, the adventure, the adventure does in fact begin right here at Universal, almost always. Ah, love, love, love. Oh. Our favorite shop. What shop? <laughs> Harry Potter? The Is Port it food? Christmas shop. Ah, oh, Port Adventure Christmas shop already. It's open, but it's under construction. Where first? Oh, hmm, of course, to the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a little bit of uh, construction on the go. So we saw the first few construction walls at the uh, Christmas Port of Entry, and a couple here now near Seuss Landing. So we'll see what else we got as we go along. Uh, if you don't know, there's only one real way to do this, in our opinion. So, Seuss Landing, and then just a little, quick little lift here. If you've watched our vlogs, you've heard me say the word quandary before. Uh, we're yeah, not really in a quandary. Quan. Quan is for quandary. But I guess we should take a minute and point out bling, what? Christmas bling. Christmas bling, 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 bling. Ah, uh, yeah, we are, uh, we are early Christmas. Early, yeah, we're definitely here for the crossover. We are here getting crossed over. How do you feel about that? Odd. Because I'm like, it's not even Halloween, but at the same time. Um, it's Hallow Christmas, Christmas or Christmas Ween. I'm not sure which it is. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm glad somebody else came up with a better name for it than I did. <laughs> Unless you like Christmas Ween, in which case I copyright.
but I have to say our experience since we've been here has been absolutely flawless. Top tier. Top tier. So happy Bravo. with how we've been treated. Uh, you know, it's just been absolutely amazing so far. Guest services was like that. There was no wait. You know, the hotel is texting us, uh, giving us towels and face cloths because they were just like, do you need anything? And then you want any extra towels and all that kind of stuff? And I was like, yeah, would love extra towels and face cloths because, you know, that's what we do. But very, very, very happy with how Universal is today. The parks aren't packed. Like, I'm, I'm beyond impressed. It is pretty good, I'm right? I'm impressed. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Q. Q for Kwan. Kwan? It's for Kwan. Yeah. Thank you, Q. Oh, yeah. There's me, Phyllis. We're going to come back to this. We feel it deserves another chance. Yeah. Oh, King Julian. Everybody loves King Julian. Oh, yeah. Definitely not. All Hallow's Eve boutique We're going in there now? Yeah, Cool. Never go alone. That's super cool. I really like that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is really cool. I have a t-shirt. Oh, man, I got some much better gear. Yeah. Uh, six, seven, eight. They only have eight of the ten houses on there. I like it though. <laughs> Remember that little pumpkin on the um, Wicked Growth thing? He was just like, he looked like that, right? He became like a yep. pass holder icon. Yep. Yeah, he's really cool. Very fun. Yeah, it is. Not creepy at all. That's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you. Nice. It's almost done for the year, so. Love the train. Don't you love the train? Oh, yeah, so cool, right? Yeah, awesome. We did Forbidden Journey. We had to do a bit of a take turning kind of deal with that because of the bag. And we didn't want to pay for a locker like right off the hop. Especially we for, would have if we were here yeah. earlier. Like if we were here, here for the full for day, it was day. on, right? But we're, we're only here for a couple hours this afternoon before we head over to Universal Studios Florida. It just didn't make sense to rent one. Yeah, and we don't want to have to leave HHN to go out to a locker and all yeah. that kind of stuff with the camera. So, like, you yeah. know, you got to pick and choose your battles. Yeah. So, we're just going to like work around the bag a little bit and uh, we're going to go now and get a return time for Hagrid. Uh, get my pass thing, so they'll write it down a time. Then yep. that way Ryan can go ride Velocicoaster Coaster because I'm chicken and I can't do it. <laughs> Don't forget, like one butterbeer line here, another one just like back where we came from. It's two hours. Uh, so she has her little card. She's gonna go up. They're gonna sign. They're gonna tell her what time she'll be able to come back. You want some of my B-roll? I do. Uh, you're still gonna want to hold on, you know, it's the roller coaster. Uh, 
fun though. It goes quick. It's got all the accelerating fun, like from the Hulk and the Mummy, and then I'm going to shoot you out there, plus all the twists and spins. So I gotta say, they really did good with the uh, Velocicoaster. I'm super glad it's here. We're gonna finish up our butter beers yep. now. Um, it's 2:48, and we actually have a return time for Hagrid's uh, Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Uh, we'll be going to ride that together. We're actually going to pay for a locker so that Ryan can put it in in there. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to go ride one of the most amazing rides in the universe. Welcome back. We're over on Universal Studios Florida side. So we took the uh, trip over via the Hogwarts Express, the parking park with our park hopper option. And we came over here to uh, try and grab a bike deep. I wanted to try Richter Burger because we've never done it. So we got to do it. Unfortunately, it was closed. So I'll just save that for another day. So we said, ah, well, let's try Lombard. Also, unfortunately, closed for HHM. So I got that ridiculous hot dog. Hopefully, you followed along on my stories. All right, checking in again. We're getting ready for uh, HHM Stay and Scream. It's been warm and I had on all day. Uh, did a bunch of rides, we're having a great time. Picked up a cool little. Uh, yeah, check that out. Is that pretty cool? That's our uh, freestyle mode for HHN this year. And a cool little you know, lanyard with the old school movie like Back to the Future and stuff. So I'm uh, really loving that. And Heather's off grabbing some food for me because I'm starved and I think we're probably going to split whatever she gets. So stay tuned. Heather is, in fact, back with food a baguette <laughs> oh wait there's a hot dog inside there's a hot dog carved and pushed down into the middle of this probably the weirdest thing i've seen and you saw the baguette that was hollowed out the hot dog put inside <laughs> that's what we ended up choosing today and we'll see what we get out of uh, hhm we're obviously going to do the uh, pizza fries a little later but for now we're going to go do stay and scream and we're thinking we're going to do halloween first so uh, fingers crossed this works out well. See how it goes. Go do some stuff. What do you mean? Do stuff. Oh, you we're, know, not, we're not here to do stuff. We just bought the After 11 Express Pass. Yeah, it was ridiculously good value. It was good value. So the plan is that we'll go in, we'll do stage screen, we'll do a couple houses, mm -hmm. we'll check everything out, and then at 11 o'clock, we'll be able to get to do it all over again. Uh, the thing is with the 11 one is that uh, it's single use. Yep. Uh, so you'll just get to go in. We're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not wait. Went all in. Spirits of the Coven. Bit of the uh, HHN Express tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah. So the After Eleven Express was only like 112 bucks each or something like that plus tax. We're super happy to pick that up. Almost two for one. Ooh, five, six hours till that kicks in. So it's gonna be a late night because we're gonna want to take advantage of it. So I'm guessing we'll be here till close. Good thing I got my camera. You guys can enjoy with us. All right, this should be fun. We're gonna get lots of pictures, some sweet low light HHN goodness. We hope. Hopefully we enjoy the shows too. So should be a good night. on the right. Sweet. So basically, it's almost the same spot where they seem to put like the good ones each year. So yeah. we kind of end up in a stay and scream down here. Sat down, hanging out. And of course, this is where all them good grubs are. We're going to have so much fun filming this tonight. Not spooky yet. All right, first up, Halloween. Very excited for Halloween. And Halloween. <laughs> All right, that Halloween good. now. So good, right? So good, so good. I mean, I don't know if I'm giving anything away at this point, but it was awesome. There were some cool spots. And of course, only having seen the movie again recently, it really like brings it back. So that's a good tip. Halloween so far, awesome house. How are we doing? Awesome. Here at Halloween Horror Nights, we just did Halloween. Amazing house, great theming. It's super cool. Really enjoyed it. Amazing house. 100, 100% really good theming. Really good scares. A couple times he came in right at me with his knife. It was awesome. Halloween was good. And the line was super quick. We got it in. And the theming, you know, the movie kind of lives on the ads because we've got that expectation going into it. So we really like Halloween. Let's see what else we got. Alright. Spirits of the Coven. 
exciting. Don't even know what it's about. It's gonna be awesome. All right, spirits are coming down. What'd you think? Ooh, it was okay. It was okay. Good. No, you had a lot of scares. <laughs> they were they they were all waiting for me. I'm pretty sure. I like that. It seemed like a little longer than the uh, some of the other houses. So. Spirits of the coven. Yeah, spirits of the coven. The theming was really cool, and he had all these like creepy things hanging in, like touching your face and stuff like that. So really give you chills, and I really like the vibe in it because it's all like all this speakeasy kind of vibe. Really cool. Creepy. I love it. The coven was good. Again, they, like, however they made those sets. Hey, wait. <laughs> however they make the sets in there, man. That's, I think it was the best part about that one was how cool the sets were. Ooh, ooh, that was the pumpkin lord. Yeah, so right now we're just kind of walking through, get a feel. We're going to head back, try and do another house. I mean, Dead Man's Wake, Winter's Wake. Dead Man's Dead Man's Pier, Dead Winter's, Man's Pier Wake. Winter's Wake. All right, so. Dead Man's Pier, Winter's Wake. Best house so far. Amazing. So good. I think I like miss talking about some of it sometimes because I'm so focused on the scares. Whoever built that, man. That was beautiful. That's incredible. That was amazing. How do you make that? Bravo. And I definitely had the most scares in that house as well. Beautiful house. Very well done. Gave me complete chills. So good. But whoever made that set also was incredible. You know, some of the stuff you see outside, the clothes really in the house. You don't really know, but next. Fiesta did Chupacabras? The Chupacabra, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, five minute wait. I, I don't know how, but we're going to get four houses done, almost by a park opening from Stay and Scream. Worth it. So it continues, Chupacabra done. <laughs> it was really good. There was a lot of scares. My throat is sore from screaming. Those mechanical doggy things, oh, I think, are scarier than people. They were. Because you don't know how far they're going to go. Yeah. Really good. It's good tonight. It's gonna be good. Oh. <laughs> they do. Yeah, boy. Yes, another quick one. Is it possible to do all the houses twice in one night? I think we're gonna find out, I don't know. Legends. Five houses done by seven o'clock. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Getting, yeah. getting five houses done by seven by the time the park opens. In all fairness, that's about two and a half hours for us because you know we still had to wait like an hour and stay in scream or so, something like that. Maybe not an hour. It wasn't that bad. I think anybody would know that you know when the lines hit three hours each or something later because it's all sold out from here through Halloween. The lines are going to get worse and worse and worse, and we'll already be through it. So we can sit back, and relax, enjoy, eat, drink, and be scared. As good as it gets. Perfect. Universal monsters, legends collide. So many scares. So many scares. It was so good. It was good. And it's a traditional monster, so you'll love it, you know? The, yeah. The mommy. Yeah. 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 So that, good. It was good. Love it. Yeah. That kid's on way back in the back. Way back in the back. We just did Legends Collide. Really good house. I had like three of them come right at me at the one time and like pin me in the room. I screamed my head off. It was amazing. Loved it. Best house in terms of scares so far. Yeah. So we're at Kid Zone now. We're oh, yeah. getting, uh, we had our pizza fries. 
So yeah. um, I definitely had you to know, get you some. Know. You know. Yeah, so I got some crushed red pepper flakes. Yeah, to throw too. On there. I got some too. And I got some Parmesan cheese. Ooh, the good stuff. The good stuff, right? Yeah, so, so we're enjoying that. And again, you know, the freestyle cups. Uh, so this time having a Powerade and a Fanta. Yeah, I got a strawberry Fanta because you can't get it in Canada. Well, yeah. at least not Newfoundland anyway. I don't know if you can get it elsewhere. Yep. Um, but I love the strawberry Fanta. And you can already tell that I've been screaming my head off because I think my voice is like lower <laughs> like 10 octaves. Yeah. But uh, loving it. It's, it's having a time? such a great time. Like probably one of the best HHMs that I've done in terms of scares. Definitely getting me a, a lot this and, year. Like they're, they, I guess they hear me coming. And then they just like, they come at me. Whatever it is. Come at me again. Come at me again. Uh, it's so good. It is. It's such it is. a good year. Love it. So what do we got next? Uh, we actually have a return time for um, the weekend, which I'm really yeah, excited about. Yeah, block. I love the weekend's music. And I, just, I think it's going to be great. So I'm really excited. Up next, we've got... The Weekend. The Weekend. And it's not even The Weekend. Sorry. Not sorry. That was Legends. Yeah. Legends was great. That was really good, right? Yeah, I really like Legends. It was really good. The Weekend House was good, but I think that it was... It was very disjointed, very much like his music videos, though. So I think it was well themed in that respect, right? Because it really kind of like gives you a. It was the know, weekend, no doubt. It was the weekend. There sure. was no doubt. It was the weekend, and he was around. And but I mean, there was a couple of scenes in there that were really good. I got a couple really good scares. My throat is torn to pieces from screaming in that house. So like. Really, really nicely done. I did like the house. I would say probably I'll give it like a maybe a seven out of ten. I think it's maybe, maybe yeah. six and a half. I mean, the music really helps bring it up. Yeah. But it also takes away from the scariness. It does. So it kind of makes it a little bit more of a party vibe. Yeah. So it's a freaky party vibe. You gotta but dance it's through scary. a scary scene. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So you're like kind of like you're wanting to dance, yeah. and you're, it makes you put you in a good mood. Yeah. And then there's someone trying to stab you. <laughs> so, so I, you know, I thought it was, I thought yeah. it was well done. All good. So we're off next. Yeah. We're gonna go down this way and see what we can get. Yeah, see what we can find. I think that's like seven houses. Yeah. I don't even know. I think it feels like we did seven already or something. And then somebody bought it out. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna get the three done. I think before our express even starts. Descendants of destruction. Descendants yeah. of destruction. Yeah, that was I was fun. scared. They weren't sure if I was going to live through it. it yeah. Was, yeah. The, the attendant, when he came, it was like, yeah. but you lived. You know, so <laughs> that's a win. It was good. Not bugs. Three hugs. <laughs> no, they seem to have a few big, like, shops, like, propped in the middle of where things would normally be for walking. Evil. But there is another power waiting to take root. From this spell, its dominion shall grow. Fear opens the door. Blood is gathered. Screams carry on the night wind. Souls are taken. Bones to bind the portal is open <laughs> loyal minions for we must gather more power and spread its grasping bites every year on this night we shall cast this spell and bind it tight. Gather more followers and spread all Hallows Eve. Thank you. 
I got had. What do you think of this night, Emkins? Terrifying, isn't it? Look at all my loyal followers. Yes. Yes. Grow and spread Halloween. My Pumpkin Lord's loyal minions. Hell yeah. I vowed to him. We both did. Hail Pumpkin Lord. Hail Pumpkin Lord. He loved us. He did. Old Black Horror. Old Black Horror. It's nice and bright in here. I don't know. Kind of weird. You know. Like, did somebody leave the lights on accidentally? The HHN account gave me a new Twitter handle. Hmm. Heather Black Horror. Ah, I see. some uh, lessons to be learned for doing Halloween on Halloween. <laughs> Extra Halloween-y, but too busy. We're in Diagon Alley right now. We're taking a little break from the crowds and the noise and the houses and the scares. And the feet. And the feet. I'm sitting on my butt. <laughs> but the great thing about Halloween Horror Nights is you can actually take a refuge in Diagon Alley the crowds, the noise, the sun is loud. So we're just waiting until 11 o'clock when our express passes become active now, and then we can decide, like, you know, whatever houses we want to do after. That's right. Kind of stuff. So just, like, taking it easy now, just relaxing. It's going to be another, you know, six minutes or so, and then we'll go get on Escape from Freakouts. Yeah. So I haven't written it yet this trip. And I love the ride, and really excited to go ride it again. Nine houses completed, uh, so we just did the Bugs house. It, the house is disgusting. Like, I found it probably one of the, like, grossest, scariest houses I've ever done. Because of, I hate bugs. Like, I hate them. And they are everywhere in this house. So, definitely, uh, if you don't like bugs, it's gonna be a bit creepy for you if you did it. Um, but yeah, like it, it was a good house. It was scary for me anyway, and um, just really gave me the willies. I mean, like stuff was like spitting water at me, so it was like, Ugh, you know. And yeah, no, it was a good house. Well, we're obviously in Diagon Alley. I mean, we're chilling for one and not getting run over, so that should be your first day. <laughs> because we are still at HHN. Uh, we're like six, seven, eight, I don't know how many hours, and we're a lot of hours in the HHN. And we got three left to go, and we're tanked, and our express just starts now. So, luckily enough, we're able to get most of the done, even without needing that express. But we paid for it. Well, by golly, we're gonna use it. It works for the rides, too. So, we got the like the long time express pass, so you can do everything once. So, we're gonna go do Green Guns, we're gonna do the Mummy, I'm gonna do the Rip Ride Rocket. And we're gonna see how many of those ten houses we can do again during the express, and hopefully the lines come down a little bit. We're really gonna 
knock it out this, uh, this first night. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the rides and all the skier rackers and all that cool stuff that we're seeing. So, our time is just about up, just a couple of minutes. We're going to go do drink out, so we'll check back again. Alright, Plum House. House number 10. We're about to hit for this cycle at HHN. It's pretty great. Night. We're coming up on the end of it. Got spicy. We're what, 12 houses in? We did three houses, didn't we? Not enough. 12, 13. We did a lot of houses. 13 houses, yeah. A couple of rides. A couple of rides. And it's getting Maybe. rained out. Yeah, and it's starting to rain, so now we have to duck out. Poor Ryan was supposed to get on Rip Ride Rocket, but it's closed at the moment, so the best of lightning within five miles. Yeah. So, it is what it is. So it goes. Try again tomorrow. Let's get out of here before All the camera right. gets wet. Awesome night at HHN. Thanks for coming along with us. We're going to walk out. We're going to get the boat back to Sapphire Falls. Walk our butt home and get some food. I'm sure you'll probably still see a little bit of this yet, but I really hope you enjoyed Halloween Horror Nights. We did. We were here for a long time. Had a lot of fun. Two chainsaws in your night. I think that's only appropriate. Never go low. No problem. How's them feet? So yeah, down to the boat launch. So when you come out of Universal Studios, Florida, that's actually like pretty good. Just kind of like follow the crowd. And you're gonna come to this like little slopey area right here. Just follow that down. All the boats are at the bottom. All right, folks, waiting for the boat. See you in a bit. Well, if you hung in there till the end of the stories, thank you. We had a great night at HHN. We're toast. You have a good night.